Welcome everyone to a special episode of The Everything Show, 1791 to be exact. Yay. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Greetings and salutations. All right, so we're making up this episode because whatever happened, the cocktail is gone, missing it. I don't want to have any missing episodes, so we're doing this one in its place. So we are reviewing the six alien shorts. Um, we're going to start with Harvest um, right now. All right, so Harvest was excellent. Yes. Uh, the, the, we got to see the alien, which was yes. amazing. Great special effects. Oh, awesome uh, special effects. It looks like movie-style special effects. Yes, it was. Um, I, and we started off with four people. We had a, The woman was leading them, leading them to the escape pod, I guess, yeah. whatever, right? The guy took the, the, the thing from her. He, he went his own way. It was another way. He, he thought she was reading it wrong. Yeah, he thought she was reading it wrong. He got eaten. And then she takes the thing, but like the, the woman who was pregnant. She, she, like she dove over, grabbed she the went, axe. She went, she to, go, the axe she went to go the get sensor. the axe and the sensor. She came back, right? And then she gave it to the woman who was like their leader, I guess. Turns out she was leading them in circles for whatever reason. Yep. She's she crooked or like whatever. That. She's probably working for the company. They want to secure the alien, thinking that they can make money from this. They get to the escape yep. pod. The escape pod says there can only be two. So she tries. It is. Right. So then she tries to do an override. Um, and I guess they strap in. I don't know if this, I guess this is an escape pod. Uh, all of a sudden, like yeah, a face hugger. Yeah, yeah. a, a the guy gets scolded. The, the guy gets scolded, right? There's a, he gets scolded. She, she, the pregnant woman hits him with the axe, like to, to get free him. Then they, yeah. they put him in the chair. A face hugger goes on him. The, the, their leader smiling like she set this up, but she doesn't realize there's an alien behind her that kills her. So now the guy's impregnated with the face hugger. She's probably impregnated with the face hugger. Yeah, because there was an egg inside the shuttle. Right, and then the, I, I guess, oh no, the woman dies. So there's an egg, in, in, there's, a, there's an egg of a face hugger, two face yeah. huggers basically, two yeah. face huggers. And the woman and the pregnant baby. So at the end, it sh she's screaming, and it shows that uh, there's two survivors and two unknown alien things. So it's the woman and the baby and the two face huggers, which, yeah. you know, they're about to become aliens. It so, looks as though the person who was leading them around in circles was actually an android. Oh, she was an android? Okay. Yeah, because you noticed the little white stuff that was coming from her mouth. Right, then all the goo came out, right. So she was an android. So, again, excellent. Oh, was excellent. It. Oh, that was – yeah, I agree. It was whoever did this spent a lot of money. They, they should be the ones making the uh, alien Make, franchise. What, now, was this fans or was this actually 20th century gave people money to do this? I don't know. I'd have to go back and rewatch that. All movie. I know is it looks like this was a, a big budget thing. Yeah. Like big. This was pretty. This is not like a fan film. This kind of looked like something genuine, you know? So that mm -hmm. is that. Uh, we are going to review now alone. So here we go. All right, so we just watched Alone. Uh, this is about a android that is, like, abandoned. The whole crew is dead yeah. on this ship. Uh, the, the mother, like, won't, like name of the computer, won't allow her in this room with B11A. Uh, yeah. It takes, like, a fire that she puts out to take the computer offline so she could break into the door. And she finds a specimen in there, face hugger. Basically, she, there was basically there were three there, two of the three survive, and this is one of the ones that survived. Yeah, in other words, they're all dead except for face hugger and the alien. Yeah. But the face hugger knows that she's not compatible when it tries to latch onto her because that she's an android. So it leaves her alone and barely hangs in there. She makes it a mission where if somebody comes across them, she's gonna make her companion live and yeah. help the face hugger because the face hugger can't even walk really. Because it's lived past, it's beyond this life cycle. So when some guy comes to rescue them, that she sets up a thing to get to this to this area, she like basically they beat. She beats the guy up, and then she yeah. puts the face hugger over his mouth, impregnates him. He wakes up. He don't remember any of that. 
Because we get a quick glimpses of what he sees here and there. Yeah. But of course, he's not too certain what's going on. Right. So. She tells him she's dying and he shouldn't get his hopes up. Uh, and then mm -hmm. it, he spits the alien out. The alien grows. And she, her body's dying because they don't make the parts anymore. She's dying anyway. And then the alien looks at her but doesn't kill her because he knows that he thinks that's yeah. his mother or something or whatever. So, uh, I this, mutual respect, yeah, I didn't, basically. I didn't enjoy it as much as the other one, but the, the the one, the one flaw in this all this logic is that if she revived the face hugger from suspended animation, and she was worried about the face hugger dying, she could have just put the face hugger back in suspended animation. In fact, she could have put herself in suspension. But she wanted. But problem is, I, I, like I said, the second time I saw this, uh, I didn't realize the first time around. She pretty much was alone all that time. Right. She and didn't want to be alone. That's all. Right. She's pretty much got some of the same human emotions in some way. She, she's, she's going alone. crazy being alone. And she's she going crazy, alone. and she right. wanted. I don't want to say companion, so to she, speak. She wanted like a pet. It was like a pet or something. She wanted a pet and a companion, so because she had gotten to the point where she said. She started getting to a routine to keep her mind yeah. straight. And as, as we open, we hear her say there's like a, a certain number of rivets, two, three more than uh, the schematics normally uh, right. dictated. Yeah. So she wants she wants somebody to keep her company, basically. Yeah. Again, I, I, I thought it was good. Uh, again, the emblem looks great. Yes. Um, so these are two good ones. The first one was the best so far. Uh, uh, harvest. This is called Alone. Um, now, what do you want to do? You want to do this another day? You want to review them, or are you? I can. Leave, I can go whenever. You want to go to the next one? Okay, so yeah. we're gonna go to the next one now. Okay, so the next episode is called Containment. Uh, starts out with Do not open before Christmas. Yeah, it starts out with two women, one Af African American, one. Um, Caucasian, and then two guys. One guy is a patient on the table. Uh, the other guy has been through the mill, seeing the creatures firsthand. Uh, he yep. gets, he doesn't want to stay there. He wants to kill the patient, thinking he's infected. Uh, the African American woman says, "You all might be infected. No. You don't know, right?" Yeah. And then he chokes out the other girl, and then all of a sudden he starts choking, and the the thing, the alien comes out of him. Uh, but we don't see the alien, though, which sucks. No, we, but we see brief glimpses of it. We don't even see the face. We, there's no face hug, but we, we don't see the yeah. alien, whatever. Uh, and it turns out that the African-American woman was a scientist that was basically setting them up so they can get infected and they can bring mm -hmm. this back home to study it. So she tries to go into the – she locks herself away in the next room, and then there's a malfunction, and the door opens – Yep. And she falls on the floor. The girl runs past her. Preventing the door from reclosing. Right. And then the alien attacks and kills the, the African-American woman. And then she, the, the one girl that's left uses her own blood to say, do not right. open. Do they not get open. rescued. Yeah, they get yeah. rescued. Uh, this was pretty good, too. I mean, the, And then there was like a little ending credit thing, too, to where the guy, where the guy on the gurney uh, takes his uh, mask off, looks around, sees the dude who's got the the chest burster, uh, and it's like, it's like, oh, there was an after credits thing. Yeah. There was something afterwards. Hold on. All right. So I, I, I didn't stay for that part. I just saw it now. So uh, the guy wakes up, right? Yeah, on the like, table. But he's oh, out. God, Screw this. Dead body here. Dead body here. I'm putting the thing to knock myself out again. I'd be dead that way. <laughs> oh man. So whoever's spending the money for this, this is some damn yeah, this is stuff. Awesome. This is this is awesome. Although I wish we would have saw the little alien in this. Well, like, we did it in a way. We saw the legs and the tail go scurrying around inside. Yeah. The, and but this was out with a hey, with uh, with Marvel and Disney getting Fox. They also get the alien well. and Predator. Yeah. yeah. So we got three more to go. It's up to you. You want to do this another time? Let's do it. Let's go all the way. We're going right now. Yeah. All right. Next one. All right. So the next episode is called Ore. Uh, it's a mining colony uh, where we have Lorraine, who is a grandmother. Her daughter is there yep. with her and the grandchild. 
Uh, she just switched shifts with her daughter where like, I mean, not switch shifts, but like the daughter's shift has ended. Yeah, She's going to yeah, go back to the surface. Shift change. She, and her shift, shift change. Um, and then we have Hanks, who's a woman who is in the main command deck, telling them what to do and what's going on. Uh, there's a guy that was, uh, one of the members was missing, so Colton went to investigate. And uh, they, found the nest. They, found, they found the nest, the dead body. Uh, one of them was free, and then there was a whole bunch of eggs. So then they see a whole bunch of aliens. Destroy them initially under the assumption that. Well, yeah, wait. There was a whole bunch of aliens that would kill. They started killing them off. They started to go back and flee. Uh, they go in the elevator, and Hanks got word from the company that basically let the specimen live. The other ones are expendable, but she still wants to save them. She's like, listen, leave it there. She's like, no, I gotta kill it. She's like, I'll give you the bonus. That's it. And, but and it would put the colony in jeopardy if we go on up. So F right, the alien would find a way to go back up the elevator. So a lot of people died down there, but then everybody banded together to face off against these aliens and uh, the xenomorphs. And we don't know how it ended. We just saw that the thing, you know, they like leaped at them. There was a whole bunch yeah. of them battled this one alien, and I'm sure other ones were coming too. I thought this was excellent. And there, was uh, no, and there was no ending credit scene with this one. I, no I end credit that. scenes. It was excellent. No. Uh, this was like a professional movie, just like the other ones. I mean, yeah. I thought that this was a lot of money was spent into this. Um, and yes. the acting was great, honestly. It was. Uh, the, the main character, too, like the, the grandmother, she was excellent. And even Hanks. Like they, they all seemed like professional actors. And actors. They are. They're all Really, so awesome. I'm surprised we don't see them in anything else, but excellent. How can they be? They're dead. <laughs> yeah. So we got two more left. You ready? Let's do it. There we go. Okay, so the next episode of the Alien Shorts is Specimen. I didn't see this one before. Yeah, this is the new one on me too. Um, it it, it is on the planet LV, a greenhouse where um Jules and her dog Maggie are like working with these plants. There's some type of stuff that uh, the dog's supposed to sniff out, I guess hostile different uh, things. Yeah. And when he does, she, she has to shrink shit about it. She has to shrink wrap it to, for, you know, to contain the specimen or whatever the thing is. And something breaks out and the dog like keeps going after it the whole episode. Uh, and it turns out that it was a face hugger, yep. right? That yep, a face hugger. The dog protects the owner, uh, and then ultimately it goes on its face. But it, isn't the dog an android? The dog was an android. That's right? what it's looking like. That's what I was thinking. Like the dog was an Cause, android because it was like goo coming yeah, out. Yeah, it was real it, odd the fact that near the end it was like this. Yeah, White she Duper kills the face hogger, which I yeah. usually, if it's slow like that, it it impregnated whatever. Mm -hmm. So, like, she sm smashed the face hogger, and then she yeah. saw that the dog was skipping and like was beeping and weird. So, I guess the dog was a android, and she's like, "You did its job," and then the guy came and rescued her. Yeah, I didn't like this as much as the other ones. Um, it was a unique premise, but yeah, I agree. It, it was, was like, lesser uh, than the other ones, so. Um, it wasn't that great. I mean, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't. It was a bit claustrophobic in a way, uh, more yeah. so than the uh, than the or episode. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we got one more episode left. So we're gonna watch it now. All right. Okay, so this is the last episode of the Alien Short called um, Night Shift. Night Shift. Uh, I didn't enjoy this as much as the other ones. I thought that they lost direction. They didn't know what to do in this. It starts off where a guy's on the ground. His you can make out a face up. hugger pretty much in the foreground. Yeah, so in other words, the face hugger impregnated him. Uh, yeah. He goes back with his buddy, and there's a store in the mining colony where they get drinks and stuff. It's past hours, but they let him in. There's a girl and an old man, and they let him in. The guy goes to use the bathroom, and then he gets sick, and then you know, it, it comes out of him. But it's cool they got to show the thing coming out of him. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, and then the thing bites the guy on the neck or something. 
he was the old I thought he got shot. I thought the one dude got uh, shot. Oh, when, did he shoot him? Yeah, I think, I think the dude actually okay. got shot. Cause maybe. Maybe, but the guy that was a thief. After that, after stole, that, uh, uh, maybe Xenomorph came out from the uh, – Yeah, guy, he stole uh, some yeah. from the shop. Yeah. Right. And, 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 really and a flask of some sort, and then he picked up a cigar. But the dude who did all that, I think when he was trying to shoot that little – Squirmy, he shot the guy, Xenomorph. but he lived, right? He actually shot the guy, but he lived, right? Because that's the thing, they, they left open end and stuff. You don't know if that guy no, lived. You get shot in the neck, uh, he, eventually passed away from his wound. So she the two guys died, there was two left yeah. the guy that was the thief and, and the, the girl in the shop. Yeah. And and then she finds out that after she kills the face hugger, that the whole mining colony is infested, is alarmed, the whole they're effed. They're, they're destroyed. They're done. There's nothing they can do. There's tons yeah. of aliens down there. Uh, I just felt it was it was rushed. The, the the plot wasn't good enough. It wasn't clear. This was the lesser of the uh, of the shorts. I didn't enjoy this one that much at all. Uh, I, other I than thought it was good. I other thought than I the alien, it. uh, it's passable, but it's it's the lesser of of all of them. I thought so. Anyway. Uh, that was our special presentation of it was our a good, yeah they were all real good six I have, I have to say the uh, oh uh, the what uh, alone has so far been my most favorite of them all though. I think it was harvest might have been harvest it was good or the or one was good too that was excellent they were all good this one was just the lesser of the other ones I right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode thank you guys thank you Scott take care bye for now.